What's going on, everybody? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, what have you, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. I just released a really dank new video about overclocking your controller on PC. This was a tip given to me over on the Purple platform by uh, Ginger Main. And um, I went in, I tested it out, and it actually really, really works and it really helps really makes the stick feel way more responsive it's not going to fix your your issues if if your if your tempo is just generally um if your tempo is just generally poor it's not going to make you hit perfects every time but it's definitely going to help you stay more consistent and it just it just feels that slight slightly more responsive than um than uh, than it does before so make sure you check out that video i literally just posted that uh, right now, maybe about five minutes ago. Tonight, we're doing the same thing. We're doing every Saturday night. I put it up on Twitch. I was just going to record a video but I, on Twitter, but I said um, I said if I get 10 likes on Twitter, I'll do it in the live. And you guys came through, 11 likes. Appreciate that. So here I am doing it live. We're going to go through the CC rounds. We're going to go through the Elite round one, the CC round one, and the Platinum round one for week 33 on the TGC Tours. Let's go. <laughs> get at it let's get at it man are you guys excited for the uh v-i-r-l showdown tomorrow I'm, I'm stoked to watch people play the course i the uh, the hole i built oh yeah man it feels it, it it's uh, it, i don't know how to describe it like a hot knife through butter i guess is the best way it just feels uh it feels oh i have my settings all the way up for uh give me one sec I have to turn the settings down on the game when I stream. I put them all the way up for uh, designing purposes. Let's uh, let's turn these down just a, just a smidge, just a smidge. It's low on shadow, high on sky, low on fog, low on bug quality, high on this. This should just I just like to bring it down just a smidge. stuff down a little bit we're, we're really only playing golf here we're not looking for the beauty you have the time there we go we like our we like our frame rate to be uh to, up, to be up higher actually i shouldn't even be saying that i'm just really trying to see if we can see if we can see if we capture Let's see if we captures the game by itself there we go <clears throat> Hope y'all are having a good evening. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm gonna get going here in just a sec. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a bunch of practice swings. Find my tempo. Get that going. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how like it just feels like the it just feels like the club comes up like like instantaneously with this with this uh with this change it's crazy yo what up nick do i play irl um i used to play a lot irl i haven't played i had not played in about 5 years and i've been going back to the driving range now getting back to it in irl but i was a pretty decent golfer back in the day I could still spank it though, but I'm way out of shape compared to what I used to be. I'm probably, I'm probably close to sixty pounds heavier than I was. My flexibility is gone. I'm way older, but it's still fun, man. And and this game has brought back like the love of golf for me a little bit. How you doing this evening, Nick? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on in.
just dialing it in a little bit. Then we'll go. Uh, we'll head out to the TGC Tour Course CC for the day, and then we'll go we'll work our way up to Elite. I think we're good. I think these are good. I'm I'm hitting a little bit low from the hundred though, but we'll uh we'll 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 figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. Hold on. I'm doing very good. I'm doing very, very good. Thank you. I'm excited for tomorrow, the uh, Vancouver Island Library Showdown. That's going to be some fun. Watch uh, watch some competitive golf and then watch them do a closest to the hole contest on the custom hole that I built for Bear Mountain. I'm having a hard time just pulling it in just a little bit. Basically there. I'm just missing like I don't know what it is. Basically there. Just on the cusp. Ah, that was slow. That that felt slow. You see the one of the things with the changes I did with the overclocking of the controller is you can you, you feel you you know. You don't get that that like oh man that felt like a root, a good swing and then you get like a super slow or something weird like that. At least I haven't had one as to yet. I haven't played hundreds and thousands of hours, but <clears throat> a couple hours of testing, testing in Call of Duty, tested a little bit everywhere. It really does work. Okay, well we're just off of perfect, and I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Little left, little right. We'll be able to play some golf with it. Because then when we get down into the irons, it'll be perfects. It'll be perfects for days, for days, for days. Or fasts, like I said. It'll be fast for days, for days, for days. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll dial it in. We'll dial it in. All right, let's go play the CC course for the week. Check her out. See what's going on. Give you guys the first round stuff. <clears throat> uh, the challenge circuit. The challenge circuit. Second full week on the new patch. I think we could stop talking about it now. The Eddie Vedder Seattle. Se the Eddie Vedder Seattle Open is this week. Eddie Vedder Seattle Open this week. It is at the Holly Point Golf Club. It's a par 70 at 7,054 yards, so not a long one, which plays well for the new update. The settings in the first round are going to play at high winds, firm fairways, moderate green, so they're not going to roll out that much. They're not going to bounce hard. Very fast green speed, so one eight sevens for you guys down in the CC. After the update, pitching for you has been super difficult. Uh same. <laughs> pitching pitching is is almost uh in my opinion completely destroyed. Um we'll see. We'll see uh, as as we go. Um, we'll see as we go. We'll see as we go. Valspar, I haven't uh, I haven't followed it. How did that guy do that was playing his first ever uh, his first ever um, PGA? I saw like a I saw like a TikTok of this guy. He was playing his first ever PGA event. Like a big big set guy like me, man. What what a dream that must be. But I haven't I haven't followed the Valspar at all, so I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. Let me check the Valspar leaderboard. Who's up there? Total minus four. Bradley Burns, Homa. Answer. 
Was uh, Hovland not playing? Oh, wow. Hovland's, Hovland's way down. Thomas is way down. Connors is way down. Good old Canadian boy. I mean that's that's tough. There's a four shot lead going into the last day. You you gotta like you gotta like the guys in the leader spots, but I I, I like maybe answer coming back up from ten under four shots back. That'd be a good run. That'd be a good run, I think. That would be some fun. So if I'm if I'm uh, if I'm betting it's uh it's answer. All right, let's take a look at this green for starters. Let's see what we're shooting into here. So if we leave ourselves on the right side, we're going to be shooting in at this angle here. If we leave ourselves on the left side, we're shooting in it like this. So we probably want to be left, but it's easy to roll off left here. Like you can kick this and kick off left. So it's a risque drive, I would say, especially 11 mile an hour win at the at the back. So let's just put it right in the middle. Hopefully we hit a perfect and the wind drifts us to the right and we'll deal with it from the right. Slight slow, we're gonna be perfectly up on the on the right uh on the right side here. This is going to be a long second shot in. In fact. Yikes. This is like this should be this is gonna take away like 16 yards. So this is gonna be like 184. It's gonna drop right here on moderate. I think we gotta we gotta uh on moderate we're gonna we're gonna loft it up a little bit put a little bit of backspin into it but i don't want to do much because this wind is just gonna absolutely destroy me here the wind is absolutely gonna kill me this is gonna take like like 16 yards away so i'm thinking i'm landing at like Thinking I'm landing at like one eight one eight four. Wow, that lag, complete lag in my backswing, just a slight fast, so no biggie. Landed at one seven eight, so it was about six yards shorter than that. Even I did, I did turn it into the window, and that's what caused that. And now I hit this ridge on this left side, and I go down. Not the easiest of putts left, but hey, not the end of the world for this miss. Oh man. I think my ball is right on that too. Breaks left a little bit, breaks right a little bit. Breaks right. Flat. This is a tough, tough, tough putt here. Tough, tough putt. What do you do, right? Like, I feel like it's going to be straight, which is what's going to anger me the most, but I also feel like I should aim a little bit to the left. It's kind of crazy to do, but I feel like I should. Now, I haven't putt with this new overclock. On the controller, let me take a practice putt and see what's going on here. Oof. It's like instantaneous. Oh. I didn't do my distance. I forgot to do my distance. I just read the putt. I didn't do my distance. I just kept default distance. And on one eight sevens, you always gotta add distance. I see Emileno's already played his. Oh, Emileno's not in CC anymore. Well, here's another. Here's another nice scenario. So right off the bat, you get two wind in the face, and you're gonna be left with like 180 plus yards wind in the face shots. It's insane. It's insane to me. Ah, oh, I slowed it. I felt it too off my thumb. Now I can't get there. 
like right off the base, right off the right off the bat. Like I can't get there now. Maybe with this, but probably not even twenty one yards. So I'm back to two hundred. It's gonna take another sixteen one eight four. Um, we might make it. We might make it with with a uh, with a thing. What up, Slovy? How you doing, man? I don't know if I said that already. I think in my head I said it, but I didn't remember actually saying it out loud. This is going to push it left, which is fine with me, because I, I need to be on the left side anyway. Let's see what we got here. Slight slow. This actually will be long. Kick right for me. It's not bad from where I was. It's not bad from where I was. Oh, we lip it out. <sighs> All right. Par par. Good start. Not much, dude. Chilling. Just started up the rounds here, playing the CC round to start. All right. Uh, if I hit this wedge 130. If I hit this wedge 130, I'm going to gain four yards. I'm going to be at 134. Then I'm going to lose probably like 15 yards. So I'm going to be at like 120. So I'm here. I'm going to deal off just ever so slightly. Aim right because the wind's going to push me right. Let her fly. That slight fast is going to kill me. Well, maybe not. I, I I fasted it into the wind, so like I fasted it direction of the wind, so it 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 held it back a little bit. The controller clock link is giving you page one hundred four. Uh, accurate. Why did that start? My God, dude. Uh, where's the link? Sorry, give me one sec, guys. I don't get it because that's copy. Like, that's the link. Oh, it might be because of the HTTPS in front of it. No, oh, but that's the link it gives me. Hang on. That should work. It it should work. I don't understand why it doesn't work. Try now. Try the link now and let me know. I'm not understanding why it doesn't work. 
Still can't believe that I only have 204 subscribers. Uh, I should be up to like 2, two 255, 250, something like that. Now, I've been, I've been, I've been steadily climbing, man. This, this next video is gonna help me grow too, because it takes me out of the PS, uh, the, uh, the, the PGA realm, and it's gonna make me start pinging into uh, other realms as well. It's okay. You gotta start somewhere. I've only been on YouTube for two months. Four, two, six. Greg, let me know if that works. Oh my god. Wow. I even added a little extra break and my swing plane was to the right. And that just swung. Diamond Dynasty? No, I put up a video to... Um, it's a video about overclocking your controller on PC. I don't think I'm gonna do any MLB stuff. I, I'm j I'm j I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough at the game. Please don't kick to the right. Thank you. That fixed it. All right, great man. Let me know how that works for you. I uh, I just put up a video right before going live today about overclocking your controller on PC. Essentially what it does is that, yeah, that broke, that broke way more than it looked. Essentially what it does, guys, is that it, it, um, it changes the polling rate on your controller from its default to what a mouse would be, like a thousand, I think. And then it, it changes the response time on your joystick from four milliseconds for an Xbox or five for a PlayStation, it'll change it to one, so like the attack time. Um, and it really, really, really helps. Uh, like, it, I just find it, it, it feels, it, it, and it's just a touch, but it just feels like everything's just a little bit more true. Um, where I really felt a big difference is I tested it like playing Call of Duty, and uh, I felt a huge difference there. I'm not much of a Call of Duty player, though, but I felt a difference there. I'm going to have to hold this up in the wind a little bit. Does this go enough to, does this go enough? I don't think so. Maybe I put a little bit of D-loft on it and hope that it gets out there. Let's see. Well, a very slow is not going to help. Miss tempo. Miss tempo ain't going to do it for us. Keep rolling a little bit, please. Make it easier on me. Yeah, I, I, I haven't really putt with it yet. I just started putting with it now. It does feel a little bit weirder to putt. It, it just feels like, I don't know, it just feels like I can control the stick a little bit more. Maybe it's up here, dudes. But where I did feel a difference was uh, I tried it on Call of Duty, and I'm not a controller player on Call of Duty, but everything just felt like way, way, way more responsive. Like, way, way, way more responsive. This is going to kick right, isn't it? You're going to be toxic to me, aren't you? Oh, stay up here. Oh, stay up right here, right here. Oh, beautiful drive. Oh, man. The partial pitch, guys, has now become... What, what was once my... Um, what was once a absolute strength of mine. What was once a absolute strength of mine has now become has now become a nemesis but this this controller responsiveness helps i must say i gotta find uh i found since the patch too like the vibration on the controller is so much less what the hell is going on Is it less? 
I don't understand. Is it more? Oh, it's more. Break, 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 break. Thank you. You can't partial pitch anymore? It's still there. Like, it's doable. It's just tough. It's just tough. It's still doable. It's just tough. You just got to get that. You got to get your... You got to just get your tempo right. That's that's all it is. You got to get your tempo right. But the problem is, is that even if your tempo is right, one little miss and, and it's it's cost you... It's cost you so much. Oop, uh, like that. This won't be so bad because at least I'll be in the fairway. But like I use, I lose fifty yards on that on that drive. <clears throat> you meant your skill level? Uh, you guys will get there, man. You guys will get there. Trust me. You guys will get there. Slight slow. Would have liked to have been on the green, but would have liked to have been on the green, but this is okay. This is okay. Ain't nothing wrong with this. Too fast. Go in. Oh. oh, I put backspin on it. Come on, dude. I put a little backspin on that. Ugh, just a little bit of a downhill and I get nothing. I guess that break I guess that breaks just non-existent three lines of break and I figured the flat ones broke just a little bit but three lines of break just didn't exist <clears throat> and at the back this will travel it's uphill though falls off at the end where's my miss where's my miss guys I think I want to be low of the hole right because if I'm behind the hole well, I'm behind the hole. I'm going up as well. I think my misses. I think my misses. Left of the hole. I think we hit this. I think we hit this. I wasn't left of the hole. <clears throat> it's going to be dirty. It, it, it rolled up there. I think the hybrid, I have to de-loft it. Like all these flat putts, man. Yo, you guys in CC this week, you're going to go nuts. You're going to go nuts. Everything's flat. At least so far, they've been, they've been a little bit untrue to being flat. These are pretty flat. <clears throat> Five, two, seven, ten, thirty five. It's downhill after the hole, but we want to get there. Uh, have you seen my competitive bag video, Slovy? I have an updated, uh, I have a video called Updated Competitive Bag. Or my chart video, it takes you to a complete charting of my clubs. I take out the 9-iron. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm I'm hitting that's twice I hit it short. I'm getting the right power, I'm just getting the low end of it. And it might be because of this update to the clocking, so I might just have to get used to holding it a, a slight slight fraction of a second longer. But yeah, I I, I don't have a 9 iron uh, in the bag. Okay, so this is this is this is hella toxic. Last Saturday's bag? No, I'm not. I'm not running last Saturday's bag. I've gone back to the more forgiving clubs. I've gone back to that same bag. The change I've made though is um is in the uh, in the wedges. I changed the wedges because what I used to do is I used to pitch my eight and my seven to make up for the gaps in my old iron, and I no longer do. So I've given myself wedges that got like more consistent gaps now, so that I don't have to pitch my 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 stuff up there, but I have to partial pitch the wedges more from time to time. Um, let me see this. So if I come in at this angle, this angle is actually not that bad, right? Because that angle would be. Where's that green? Coming in from like here. That's not that bad. Can I hit this green pretty easily? No, I can't. No, I can't. I'll be like down in here. And if I'm down in there, where am I? I'm like here. I'm like 200 yards away. But if I hit a three iron here, this is, this is such a tricky drive. But let's just put it out there and see what happens. That slight fast might kill me here. Hmm. It's going to be a short, rough shot, but it's going to be in the rough. And it's going to be a downhill rough lie. Stay up a little bit for me. Downhill rough lie. Okay, no biggie. So add a few yards to the total. but um, Let's take uh, 13. Let's take 20 yards off. So this is going to be 110. And then 1, 2, 3. And then let's hit this. And I'm just fast. I'm just fast. I'm going to have to figure this out. I'm just fast. Don't go over the hump. Oh. Sage. <sighs> this is downhill as well. So this is going to run out. Alright. I think I think it's even over eighty. Yeah, it's like eighty one. Okay. Fast at it. Ah, get the hill a little bit. Help me. Okay. Got a little bit of the help there. Watch your brakes on this stuff, man. These brakes are these brakes are quite interesting. <clears throat> Wind? Wind, hello? Wind? Oh. Get through. Oh my god. Just so unlucky. Just so unlucky. I don't think I can get there now. Can't get there. Uh, <clears throat> punishing. Punishing. Definitely punishing. This might not even be an easy... Do I pitch this up? I guess I have to slash this, right? You go. I would have never used a splash, but now you got it short like that. You just can't take a chance to pitch it anymore. Just can't take a chance to pitch it anymore. Plus one through four. Who is you are? You're plus one through four, Nick. On your CC rounds. Fuck. 
Man, my tempo, dude. Why am I pitching? So I play everything on PC, uh, everything except for MLB. Man, I'm slow. I, I don't understand the slows now. Like I'm just not getting it. Everything except for MLB the show, I play on PC. Uh, what's the runout on this? This should work, right? Way long. I got to do my run out, my run out, uh, my run out sheet for that. I got to learn that fast. Nice par though. <clears throat> yeah, I have the show on Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized my mic was really close to my mouth. Yeah, I have the show on Xbox. This is going to take away like 20 yards. It's going to take away like 17 yards. 17 yards is going to be like 71. I think it's this with some loft. Not too much because the loft exaggerates the wind effect. I want the wind to push me into that, that slope that goes back to the, back to the thing. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening with my, my tempo. Like, I... I just don't understand, dude. This here. This will roll out slightly. One. I'll do this. Should be good. A bit of a rollout. Hit this little hedge. Hit the ridge. Go down. This is perfect. But I mean, I gotta stop saving par, man. That's what's happening today. Saving par. I think it's crossplay. So if you ever want to get a game in, let me know. Very ad, very average, no money spent player. Yeah, I I have uh, I have yet to play an online game. I just don't like the way the online plays. To be fair, it's it's it's. It's all about glitch pitchers and glitch gl like glitchy pitchers and everybody throws down and out and never throws a fastball and always throws a curveball. It's not a very nice experience to be fair. Does not does not feel like baseball while you're playing online for MLB. So I've played maybe one battle royale game to try the mode out. Uh, I don't know what what is wrong with my tempo, but. Knocked my dessert plate over. Okay, that might be it. I I calibrated when my controller was in a different position. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> you promise lots of meatballs you miss often. <laughs> All right, we're on the board with a birdie there. A lot of pars in the CC round so far. <clears throat> we're on the board with a birdie. That's beaut. I'll take that just slight fast. 
ish. This is going to kick way left, though. Oh, this is going to be a nasty lie. <clears throat> Guess we got to play this like out to the side, right? No choice. What do we think of this? No, I guess we play this. A little bit of D-loft on it. Let the wind catch it. Just float down there. This might, this might be real nice. Catch this ridge. Oh. Oh, baby. In the hole. Oh, what a golf shot, baby. What a golf shot. Woo! We are right back in it. We are right back in it. One of those eagle streams I keep giving about. This is a killer shot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to lose a little bit of distance on the, this. Lose like a yard there. I'm going to lose like. Yo, what up, Noah? Yeah, this is round one of the CC. I'm gonna use two yard. I'm gonna lose two yards there. I'm gonna lose a couple of yards for the fast or for the lie. I'm gonna lose like two yards because of this wind, and I got this backstop. I'm gonna hit this club with a little bit of loft to it, and then we are going to be one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. If you watch my, my chart video, this should take me right about to the pin with the wind if I hit the perfect. See that? So right to the pin. You'll find that on my wind chart. I just added wind chart for you guys and talked about this in the wind chart video. I give myself a bit of a long putt here, but that's okay. I think I would have been okay uh, with the with the five iron there. Yo, what up, Stolsey? What's going on, man? <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? How y'all doing? Appreciate you chilling, man. Appreciate you hanging out with the uh, with the ass hat over here, King Ass Hat himself. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna have a little work to do. Why'd you name your channel Blue? Okay, that's a that's a good question. Next up, rollout chart. That's exactly what's next. I'm working on pitch rollout. I'm working on chip rollout for you guys. So that is exactly what's next. Um, why did I name my channel Blue? So 15 years ago, um, I was an employee at Best Buy. And they're called Blue Shirts or Blue Collars. Me and three other friends, we started a like gaming review website slash conglomerate called the Blue Collar Gamers. We had a we we had a Justin TV uh, link, and then we and then when 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 Twitch rolled around, we created a Twitch account for it like seven years ago, I think, or whenever my my Twitch account was created. Um, called Blue Collar Gamers. I then started streaming on the purple platform because I don't want to say that name too often. I then started streaming under Blue Collar Gamers. 
I then went through years of streaming of that. I went through a variety and a slew of names, all revolving around Blue. Everybody just called me Blue in the end. I had Blue Collar Gamers. I had Old Man Blue. I had... um, I can't remember all the names. Anyway, I had a whole bunch of different names that I went through, but everybody would... Like, no matter what, I, I even had dad FPS at one point. And they would still call me Blue. So I settled on just calling myself Gamer Called Blue because they call me Blue. Everybody calls me Blue. So Gamer Called Blue because that's me. They referred, they've, I've been referred to as Blue for 15 years. Or for at least seven since Twitch existed, since the Purple Platform existed. And so here I am. I created this uh, this channel here. When I when I started doing PGA design three months ago, three or four months ago, just to post like design stuff, and then I decided that the streaming game was a little bit too difficult for me. The streaming game was a little bit too sick, too too much for me, in terms of being a dad. Um, so YouTube allows me to just create the content when I want and then release it, and then it's always here. So it's like I'm always live, and then I can come live for you guys once or twice a week. And you catch me on those live days, you know? So, I, I just figured YouTube is a better place to stay. Uh, 188, 25% of 188 is going to be uh, 1836, 47. It's going to be like 135. What's the 10 at? This is not even enough. 25% of this is like 150. Where's 150 at? It's like here, plus wind. You gotta hit the three iron. Gotta hit the three iron out of here. See what happens. The six story. Thank you. Wish you had this game on PlayStation. That's what I play on, and I'd love to play around with you. I do not. I don't even own a PlayStation. I. I even uh, my Xbox wasn't even in existence. Um. My Xbox wasn't even in existence. <laughs> I. I brought it back to life just to play MLB. I. I don't really play on console at all. I play everything on PC. I play everything on PC. Thank you, Slowly. I appreciate that. You can't wait for the Masters game? I can't wait for it either, man. I think I think more game, more golf is just... The problem I have here, guys, sorry, I'm also thinking of the uh, the shot at the same time, is uh, this, this nasty lip at the front. I almost think I want to miss left. I almost think I want to miss left here because this lip at the front is going to be dirty. Also, oh, I have a like a left hand lie. This is gonna push me left, but if I land like frontwards, anyway, let's let's see what happens. Let's hit the ball. Hit the ball blue, and then do that. Just fast it, and and you'll be done with it. Cause yeah, cause you spent twelve minutes talking, and your tempo is completely shot at that point. You my boy blue. That was actually my follow notification. Perhaps 2K slash HB will clean up their poor and consistent gameplay. Um, I guess that's that's an opinion. I mean, the, the the their change they made now is phenomenal. The only thing the only thing they have to change is is the short game is maybe just a little bit too punishing, and the slow is not punishing enough. With EA, they didn't have to put much effort with being the only company in game. Yeah. But EA had that same problem before, too, where there was no effort, and the EA games were lackluster and kind of crap as well, right? So competition always breeds excellence, in my opinion. Choice with golf games make company. Yeah, exactly. With EA, they didn't have to put much. Yeah, exactly. I read that. Just hope EA doesn't do it arcade style with adjusting spin midair. Yeah, I, I, expect, I fully expect EA to be the arcade game. I think it's quite clear that HB is going to try and line themselves up. So. HB Studios, Tiger Woods, competitiveness, top of the game, the best there is. I think 2K, the direction they want to go in is to go in a, like, this is going to be the game to play if you want to be competitive and you want to play an eSport. Kind of like how Call of Duty is the is the shooter instead of Battlefield type, type thing. Um... And then, one sec. Mm 
And then I think EA is just going to cater to the masses as far as just a casual, casual game goes. Oh, please stick. Oh my God, don't don't run down down that hill. Wow, that was long, dude. That's on me. That's a bad mistake. <clears throat> they will for sure have arcade, but we'll have a sim setting as well. I, I, if like I said in my video on the release, um, if they don't have a sim setting, they they're doing it wrong. They need a sim setting if they want to compete in a in a competitive platform. They need a sim setting. They need a designer. Go in. Let's go. Nice recovery, blue. Hell of a par recovery there. Um, they need a they need a sim setting. They need a designer, and they need this like society feature. Um, if EA wants to bury two K, that's how you do it. Period. If you just want to bury two K, come out with a designer. Come out with a, a sim feature. Like true, like actual sim golf, not that that doesn't feel arcadey, and come out with a dank designer, and. You probably got yourself a winner, I would say. This is going to be an, a very interesting shot here. Because this is long. This is not long. This is going to be like 168 plus the wind's going to help. I think I hit this club here. And we hit this club. We want to miss left. So this is a long club. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is this is the shot here. Maybe I bring it slightly right so that I miss left. This is the shot. Wow, what a scary what a what a scary 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 what a scary hole, man. more you can do there that's, that's pretty good <clears throat> old tiger woods didn't need spin you could sink every shot doing the math format adjusting for wind and the lie of the ball you could do the same with this game if your math is is good enough to a pinpoint you can you can sink you can sink a lot of shots what bugs me is being a competitive gamer and not being able to compete because everyone is playing a different game when it comes to difficulty via frame rates and servers they're playing on, etc. Yeah, but that's just that's that's the same for every game. That's 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 just that's just a fact of online gaming. Like there's million dollar Fortnite competitions where guys are 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 competing in different servers. Server lags are different, everything's different. The only time you're going to get true setting is is through land play and and that just doesn't exist anymore. It's just not feasible. It's not feasible with COVID. And in a game like PGA, it just doesn't make sense unless what you do is you hold online qualifiers and then you 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 bring about a land setting afterwards. But even that land setting is going to be on servers, right? Cuz the game is held on servers. So it's just the nature of gaming now and it's something we got to accept. The only thing you could do about it is give yourself the competitive advantage. If you're that competitive, um, are these yellow? If you're that competitive, make sure that you have you know the best gaming uh, routers and and the best uh, the best possible internet connection. You know, do things like the video I just said. Reduce the lag on your controller. Use a mouse because the mouse is probably the best polling rate. Or play this game on PS4. Yeah, like like things like that is is what you do. Um, to counteract that, it's just you can't do anything about it anymore. Like, there's nothing you could do. I underhit that, or did I overhit it? Oh, I overhit it. Wow, that was an overhit. Damn, that should have been birdie. It would have been a nice birdie. <clears throat> but I think that's just the plague of of competitive or the plight, not the plague. The plight is what I'm looking for. This look at this shot, dudes. On this new patch, look at this shot, dudes. This shot is like, if you want to aim like you got like a like a like a sack, you're aiming right here, and you're hoping the wind carries you, and you're putting this down, and you're doing something that no man has done before. You're taking full backspin, and you're trying to hit a 105 perfect in the new modern era of the game. 
Give me that again. I'm doing it. You ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, don't do that in your actual rounds. <laughs> don't do that in your actual rounds. Okay. Um, let's put it close. Fuck. Yeah, that drive is real scary. I should have checked the distances for you guys, but I'm assuming just driving it to the left was it. But I had to go for it. There's no way. There's no way. There's no how. I was not going for that. Nailed it. Always good in practice swing, right? Practice swings are always the better part. Red fast is going to kill it a little bit, but this could be perfect. Well, we're probably taking a bogey here because this is this is a hell of a putt. I gotta lag it too, so that was five. So that's like a seven. That's like a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like an eight, then a little extra because they're fast, then a little extra because this is slow, then a little extra because I go into yellow when I'm up there. Stick my head between my legs and kiss my ass goodbye. I barely feel the vibration here. It's insane. That's a great putt. That's a great putt. I'll take that for, for bogey. I'll take it all day. I wonder if people are still fasting and just clubbing up in clubs. Yeah, one hundred percent they are. You just can't do it on distance. You just can't do it on distance. But like, like the problem is, even if you're doing that at your distance, you're you're just killing yourself. So you're better off learning to perfect it. Like it's just no, there's no advantage to clubbing up and fasting a ball anymore. It just it, it's gone. The advantage is just completely gone. To what the advantage was before, that advantage is just gone. And now the problem is, is the further you go into fast, or or even if you're trying to hit this fast, but you hit this fast, or this fast, and you hit this fast, like the further you go into fast, the further or the least the penalty is. So it's a gradual penalty, right? Whereas before, any fast would give you the same distance. So it didn't really matter what fast you got, you were just a little bit more left or right. You, you were always generally where you wanted to be. Whereas now, if you miss the, the tempo of the fast, you're you're gonna lose even more yardage, and that's a huge problem. Like, there's no point on trying to to learn the fast. Like, there's just no point. It just makes no sense for 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 anybody at this point. Try and learn that fast. This wind should make me lose like fifteen, sixteen yards. I was I was counting four one forty one. I hit one. I hit 145. It's not bad. Yo, Breach, what's going on? How you doing this evening? Oh, my. I'm hitting the low end of perfect. So, that that controller thing has changed has changed the way putting works. That I'm gonna have to get used to. So be forewarned. I had not tested that. I I, I seem to be hitting the low side more than hitting the uh, the upper side. All right. So a little bit all over the place with the uh, with the tempo. I I, I kind of felt like that was gonna happen. Um, but still still a minus four up on the board. I'm okay with that for CC. Um, let's back out. Even in 57th and CCL. Nice, dude. Hey, that ain't so bad, man. That's improvement. That's that's up there. I like it, dude. I like it, dude. It would also be great to get definitive answer on the swing tempo being just a downswing that matters 
from the development team. That answer we got from the development team when the game was released. Um, the um, HB Craig gave us that answer. So yes, it's only calculating downswing. That's already that's already something that's been uh, that's been confirmed. Uh, elite tour. So back when the game was first released, um, there was uh, there was studio people that went around in all the chats, answered question CCI not L. M C E F G H I J K L. Even better. <laughs> China Open Wing Spread Prairie Club. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back back when the game first released. Um, especially Craig, I, I would, I would have, I would have, comp where can you find that? It's in Twitch chats. I don't even think you'd be able to find it now. It was just conversation in Twitch chats. Um, they were in like, let's say respawn stream. They were in a Seamount stream. Uh, Craig came into mine at one point, uh, into Hemo's streams. So they were around, they were talking to people. I even, I even have DMs with, with, with HB Craig asking him questions or, reporting bugs or talking about stuff. So there are a lot of answers that we got at the beginning um, that are there. So at the very beginning, they told us that, that downswing was the only matter in tempo. Uh, wing, wing spread Prairie Club for those in the Elite Tour. I went to Elite, right? Elite Tour, Wing Spread Prairie Club. It is a Scottish 67 design. Par 72 at 7,384 yards. Do not miss the fairway. Do not miss the fairway. Your first round's going to look like this. Medium wind speeds. North wind direction. Normal fairways with firm greens that are fast. We'll find out if that's a default fast, 187, or if it's a true fast at 163, or if it's a 171, or if it's a 174. In case you guys didn't know, if the course designer designs, whatever the course designer sets the green at, that's the speed on default. When you set default in the game, the game shows you fast. Just FYI. So you won't know the speed of the green here until you actually get on the green. Dusk, light, cloud. Let's get into it. <clears throat> what happened to the punch shot last year? Ver last year's version had it. I think they when when we spoke about it at the beginning, the punch shot was replay was was taken out because you could do this, um, and you could sort of give yourself a punch shot with the left and right shot shaping sticks all the way forward. So like this all the way forward, and the right stick all the way forward is your punch shot. I'd like to see an actual punch shot come back, but that's technically that's technically your punch shot. So if I wanted to punch, um. If I wanted to punch this, I would I would take this with the driver, half swing it and punch it, and it would it would it would punch it out. So it 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 like technically exists, but it it doesn't exist. If that makes sense. They need to bring it back for next year's version. I know it's been asked about. Um, I want to see them take the splash out. I want to see them fix the short game. Period. <laughs> I want to see them take the splash out for everywhere except for the sand. I want to see them bring a short flop in. So let you flop at all distances to a maximum flop, let's say 50. But let me flop an 8-foot flop. Let me just, let me just give... Because what they're trying to give you is not a splash, it's a flop. Right, you don't splash in the off the fairway. You you you, you open up your club face and, and you kind of you kind of flop it if you're just trying to what it, which is what a splash does. But it's not a splash. It's not it's not you're not splashing the ground behind the ball. You're you're cutting right underneath the ball, right? Like you're cutting right underneath the ball. So I want to see them remove that. Um, yeah, that's about where I'm at with that. So fix the pitch. <clears throat> Firm greens. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
we're going to start with that today. Okay. See, this is where, like, the pitch becomes, like, very, very sensitive. This I used to pitch no problem back in the day. And now I now I usually pitch it far. Yeah. I used to put those in at will. At will, I used to be so good at putting those in, and I've lo I've lost that part of my game. I've lost that part of my game. I did I, I hit it too hard. Oof. Yeah, putting's definitely more sensitive. Do you guys find like the vibration since the update is is like is like non existent on the controller? Is it just me? Like the vibration is 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 almost non existent on the controller now. Stick around. Stick around. It's bad, yeah. Like the update did something to the vibration. Like it because it's I guess maybe the change, whatever they did, causes it so that it doesn't read it anymore and it doesn't give it to you. Yo, Tom, what's going on, man? Designer wise, what would you like to see improve or change? Um, I want to see the ability to custom create or or at least have more models of things. I would love. I would love. I would love to have like way more models, clubhouse stuff. I'd like to maybe you know how like um like in 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 survival games, you get just walls and you get just roof pieces and and stuff like that. I'd like to see that expanded to where I can go outside of the designer. I can create my own model of a of a house. I can create my own model of a clubhouse with just using wall pieces, using, you know, like window slots, using roof pieces um, and, and, and import that model into, into the game to where I could use it even more. Even if that's a separate like model designer where you have to download a separate version of you just creating models and they give you like, here, here's, a million different pieces go ham and create your own your your own model um <clears throat> i would love to be able to custom create the backgrounds that's a lot i understand but if i want to create a certain look i'll give you an example i created the bear mountain hole number 14 i could not get it to their liking to bear mountain's liking as far as the view was because the view at Bear Mountain is these very low, these very low mountains way out in the distance. And when you're looking out on the T of the hole, you almost don't see anything but sky. And I could not get a view to where all I saw was sky. I couldn't make that happen. Like I tried everything for them. So I would love to be able to design that, especially if esports designing is going to continue being a thing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I created a, a hole. For an esports event that's going on tomorrow. It's called the VIRL Showdown. That's happening tomorrow. Um, you can go see on my Twitter. And I have a video about it as well. So I'd love to see that. I'd love to see more plant object memory. But that I understand. That server capacity is a thing. But that would be good. It's awful. They need to update to vibration. Yeah. Larger object and memory cap. Yeah. So I was just saying exactly. So larger object. Memory cap. But I understand that like. Like you have to understand, like like it I, to me as two K or whatever, I would love to give more memory cap and more 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 everything to the designers. But have you seen the amount of absolute like garbage stuff that gets published and put on their servers that just wastes away, like just wasted space, just absolutely wasted space. And I understand everybody's got to start somewhere, but. Maybe there should be like a, some sort of minimum approval situation going. I, I don't know. I don't know what the solution would be, but there's like you can't give that much space. This is going to be this is going to run for days. Hmm. You guys are you guys might see something interesting here. I'm going to shape the ball. I'm going to shape the ball into the wind and try and hold it a little bit. Never before seen shaping. Let's 
fast it is like dead in the water. I get why because my base PS4 struggled with some of the TG TGCT courses. Yeah, well, there's that too, right? There's that too. I don't understand how half of you people design on uh, on console. Holy, like I don't have a vibration anymore. It's just non-existent. I don't. It's like there somewhere. I'm gonna have to start like, especially on long putts. It just doesn't exist. Where the hell? I under hit it. I can't find like I couldn't find Yeah, I was trying to eyeball it there. I couldn't find it. I couldn't get it. Oh my god, I overhit it there. All right, putting putting is a problem. Putting is definitely a problem right now with this new uh especially with this new um I'm going to have to put a lot of work into putting with this new uh this new thing I did to the controller to, to take away the uh the input lag. And if it doesn't Maybe do like a play minimum after a month, and if it doesn't hit a certain number of plays after a time deleted from the server, just have it in print saying that they will be deleted if it doesn't hit a certain amount of plays after a month or two or whatever. Maybe. Would help out clearing space, yeah. Then, let's say me. I put my last course that I built, I put 60 hours into. Let's say 60, 70 hours into it. It's not a bad course at all by any means necessary, but it's only got like 20, 30 plays right now. Like I didn't advertise it. I didn't, I just basically advertise it on my Twitter. That's it. It's got 20, 30 plays. If I put 70 hours for 20, 30 plays for something that's of quality and it gets taken down because of plays. I don't know if I'm making courses anymore. I already don't know if I'm, if I'm going to be continue making courses anyway, but fuck me, dude. My tempo's off, guys. I apologize. This is some this is some bad golf right now. That change is definitely uh, is definitely changed something. I I might recalibrate actually, because I haven't calibrated since I did the uh, the input lag change. So maybe that maybe that'll help. Get out of there. <clears throat> you said you made a video about controllers and fixing lags. Yeah, super stroke. But I released it uh, just before going live today. <clears throat> Overclocking your controller. It's something I didn't even know about. Somebody mentioned it to me in a Twitch in a purple platform chat yesterday. And um I went and tested it out. And like like right now the input lag for me pulling back on my stick, like you guys aren't gonna see it. You really feel it a little bit more, but like the second I push my stick. Like, there's no... Before, I, I felt like it was like a fraction of a second. Not much, but a fraction of a second before the actual club moved. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. PS controllers are, are slightly worse. They're 5 millisecond uh, response times. So the response time on a controller is 5 milliseconds or 4. You can remove that response time and make it 1 using, a, using the program that I linked. Anyway, I did a, I did a how-to video. You guys could check it out. It just, I feel like I'm not getting the random tempos anymore. I feel like if, it, if I'm fast, I could probably feel it that I'm a little bit fast. If I'm slow, I feel that I'm slow. If I'm, you know, I'm not getting that where I'm like, oh, I hit the tempo. I hit the same tempo where I feel like I did and I'm getting like a random super slow. Because it's also, you're not only changing the input lag, you're changing the polling rate. So... Your stick is pinging to the computer more times than it would under its default settings. That's what polling rate is. And that means that there's less opportunities for the game to miss out. So like a mouse. You know how a mouse in DPI 
So the higher you put your DPI, the more the polling rate is high. So when the guy is using the mouse um, on on PC, they're they're when they're like pulling back and pushing forward, they're getting an input way more amount of times to the PC than the controller stick is. Well, this software allows you to fix that, allows you to re re change that a little bit and make it uh, make it more even. Why'd you slow it, Blue? Kick left. Give me something stupid. <clears throat> seventy percent. So seventy percent is gonna take me two, four, six. Probably like seven. So this is gonna be like seventeen. Downhill. That's a full backspin. <laughs> it didn't move. These firm greens. These firm greens. Whoa, 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 whoa. I also feel it here where I can like, I just feel like it responds so much better when I'm trying to find this. It's weird, man. It's just a weird little feeling. No way. Oh, that's my swing plane. Um, greens are 172, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed. This is a bad start to the elite rounds. That's why I'm not an elite. It's a bad start to the elite rounds. Yo, what up, Kilbride? How you doing, buddy? Hey, Kilbride, I did that. Uh, that th This is Kilbride, by the way. Give him a follow over on the purple platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It's for PC. It's for PC. You can't change... Well, on PlayStation, you already get a better polling rate to the PlayStation. On Xbox, it's a crap polling rate. And so, yeah. But yes, it is a, it's a something for a PC. You can't change it on the uh, on thing. So, yeah, guys, uh, give, give this man over here. If, you, if, you, if you're an avid viewer on the Purple platform, give this man, Kilbride, a follow um, on, uh, on thing. Yeah. Yeah, I tried it. I tried it, Kilbride. I made a video about it, too. I actually made a video about it. I credited Gingermane in the video, and I put his link down in the description. I hope you won't uh, be mad. This is a stupid pitch. Like, what do I do here? You know what I mean? Like, there's no shot I'm, I'm, I'm getting this close, right? Like, there's just no chance I'm putting this close. Maybe I come lower. Maybe I come a little bit lower. You probably want to lay up this hole, guys. You were talking with him about a hurt. Yeah, I did it. It's definitely fixed the... Um, it feels way more responsive. The problem I'm having now is my putts are way off. <laughs> like, I can't find the... I can't find, like... Uh, I can't find my distance on my putts anymore. And the vibration's, like, completely gone. But I don't know if that's the like since the patch the vibration's kind of fucked. But I'm basically getting like no vibration right now. But like this is way easier to keep controlled. Oof, I'm very afraid, guys. I'm very afraid. Go in. Go in. That's a that's that's a shot of the highest proportions, highest quality. Of golf right there. They tell me the partial pitch is dead. They say can't be done, Blue. Can't be done, Blue. You can't partial pitch no more. It's dead. It doesn't exist. I say nay nay. I say get good. That's what I do. Just nay nay and get good. That's it. Just get good. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Well, you got it close. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Fuck me. I put it in the rough. Are you serious? God damn it. Then I go ahead and do this. Just get good, Blue. Oh, light rough. Light rough is like fairway, right? It's just, we call it heavy fairway. Light rough is just heavy fairway. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing else to do about it, right? 
ten percent is nine, so one, two, three, four, and then like one, two, three, four, and then like so a little bit of this. Were you hitting them long or short? Um, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Also, I might have to recalibrate because I seem to be just great fast on everything. Yeah, I seem to be just great fast on everything, which is which is also a problem. Anyway, I'll I'll see what's going on with it. New uh, new thing, you know, new thing. Ain't no new thing but a chicken wing. Ain't no new thing but a chicken wing. Damn. All over the place like your tempo? No. No. No, your tempo is atrocious. And your swing plane is fact. <laughs> I, dude, when you recalibrated very fast... When you recalibrated very fast and proceeded to hit a fast, I was like, this man, this man's thumb must have no joint. Like, I do not understand how the hell. I, I do not understand how the fucking hell you hit that fast after that recalibration. There is no shot that that's how that worked. Oh boy. It's really so gross. Yeah, I, I don't know how you hit it fast. And your swing plane, but your swing plane might be your controller issue. Like your controller just seems like it's just not not working out for you. I'll tell you what, this 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 uh this polling thing, the change, it's definitely made partials easier because it just feels like so much smoother. I don't have to do any jerky motions. I feel like I'm in control of my stick. It's cool. It's very cool. Let's get some perfects, though. Plus two in your first CC practice round. Let's go, baby. Fucking go, Breach. You're going to be a fucking pro before you know it. I am slightly fast, so I do think I'm going to recalibrate before the plat round, and we'll see what's up. Is the wind supposed to be this strong? Uh, yeah, your first round of CC, you guys got high wind. What is it? What is this? What is this? How am I in the fairway? How am I in the fairway on a par four? What did I hit? What did I hit? What? 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 I fasted it a little, but like even if I'm thirty yards, how am I hitting a three wood? Can't even get there. 20, so 60, so 236. Can't even get it there. I don't even think I need to red fast it. I think I need to hit it perfect. And just de-loft it a little bit for the uh for the bounce. But the bounce will be it's all uphill. And and a little bit of wind to the face. Hit slightly slow. Yeah. It's like barely climbs up there. <clears throat> if I hit that right, it's it's good. But like, how am I D off the D on a par 4 when I put it in the middle of the fucking fairway? Even if I'm 20 yards shorter. What the fuck, dude? That's brutal scenes. Standard driver to driver par four. Exactly. See here, I have no vibration all the way through. I don't I don't I don't get one. Oh right here. Yeah, I get a little faint. <clears throat> all right. 
Got to step it up, Blue. You said it yourself. Just got to be good. Just get good. Just get good. Just got to get good. There's no way drunken no things is, is scoring better than me, right? Like, I didn't see that. There's no shot. <clears throat> Am I going to be off the fairway here? What's a good thing for recording gameplay? I just use OBS. I record all my videos on OBS. So long. I'm on PC. Yeah, I kind of fixed them. My videos fixed them. My, my swing plane video really helped them, he said. Like, he completely turned himself... He couldn't get a swing plane to save his life. And he said my swing plane video, like... Like, uh... Like, saved him. What's good for recording and play? What platform are you on? Oh, you asked Superstroke. My bad, dude. He's on Xbox? Yeah, so you get yourself a capture card. Usually the capture card comes with a recording software. You could just use the built-in one. Or you can use, like, OBS if you want. To cap your gameplay. And for that to be a question mark. I got you. I think on Xbox, you can cast your Xbox to your computer direct, though, right? Like, you don't need a, ca you don't need a capture card? Just slightly fast, though. Well, this is fun. Yeah, it's helped a lot of people, man. And and you know what? My channel my channel metrics have showed it. <clears throat> I just wish I could listen to my own shit. But my I I mean, I, I'm gonna be fair to myself. My issue is I'm always testing things, but I think I'm done testing things. <laughs> like now I'm testing this 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 latency thing, you know what I mean? I'm always even when I play my rounds, like my last week, I played my rounds with a completely, uh, with all the long clubs. I played with all the purple clubs, just because I wanted to test what playing a competitive round. You know, like I'm not being fair to myself. Right now, I'm missing the perfect, like, just by a smit. Like I'm either just gray or just slow, and I think just a one calibration is gonna fix that. I think just one calibration is gonna fix that. Until the next update? Well, the only thing the next update should do is destroy the slow. It's the only thing the next update should do. And maybe retool the fast because a lot of people don't want to play the game anymore. And maybe we, maybe we need to cater to them a little bit. To where at the top end of the fast, it's not, it's not so punishing. <clears throat> I went over the power. Oh my god. <clears throat> mm, stick, stick. St oh, it didn't hit it. For what? Shameful par on a par five, man. You can only do like 10 minutes max, I think. It's full. Yeah. Can't you cast your your Xbox screen to your to your PC and then just use OBS? Let's see the red fast isn't dead. Like this is a red fast carries 280. Nothing wrong with that. 
nothing wrong with that. You can still like slight red fast it. So I don't, I don't necessarily believe in the red fast being dead. Like left of where I want to be. It's on a slight delay. Mm, might be hard to play that way. Does it cast the screen and you have to play it on the PC? Or can you still play it? Can you still play it on the Xbox screen and just have it recording on a second screen? Or do you have to play it on the delay? Because if you play it on the delay, that's kind of kind of crappy. I don't think this gets up here. This is a nasty par 3 for you guys. I don't think this gets up here. So this one yard here, then two. But I don't think this has enough roll to get up this hill. So I think you got to hit a partial, a partial hybrid. little long it's okay that's probably that's probably the best outcome right there just hit your just hit your putt now i i over hit the power A great shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. Just gotta hit the putt. <clears throat> Just gotta hit the putt. <clears throat> but I am missing my power slightly, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Man, this this slow has been plaguing me all day with the driver, huh? Just like unfair. Unfair. What do you think the chances are that I hit the lip here? <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Let's just what's the distance wise? Yeah, I might as well just hit like a. I might as well just hit like this. One fifty. One fifty out there. But you see, Kilbride, my 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 swing plane never wavers. That I n usually never have a big problem with. And my tempo's kind of little, just like gray fast right now, only because of this this change I made, really. Of course, I, I adjust for the gray fast and then hit a perfect. Man, I'm a, I'm a par master today. Let me tell you. Just pars all over shop. Way less value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to get there, dude. You know what it is? You, you know what it is? You... You're coming from, like, your game, for you, your game was completely destroyed. And that's already in your head. You're going into it in the mind frame of, my game has been destroyed and I don't know how to play anymore. And once you get that out of your head, you'll be, uh, you'll be a champ. You'll be a champ again. Don't hit that lip, you son of a rotten. I'm gonna, I wanna kinda put this. Oh no. Wow, that did not come out at all. I knew it was gonna roll, but like, oh no, dude. Look at this. Ugh. What a shame. I should have practiced swung that. Like, that's just stupid. 
I should have done the math and I should have practiced swung. That's 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 on me. That's my own fault. Lag up, lag up. Sounds good, bro. Thank you, Kilbride. Hey, did you bet on that horse? Did you bet on the winning horse? I thought you mentioned that horse on stream. Forget the name. But I thought you mentioned that exact horse on stream. Was it just me? I saw who won, and I was like, yo, I think Kilbride said this horse. You didn't. I thought that was the horse you did, man. Too bad. Too bad. You thought about it. Yeah, we all we all think about a certain horse, right? Or we all think about a certain outcome. Damn, I thought about it. <laughs> That's okay, man. As long as you're just doing it for fun, you know? As long as you're just doing it for a little bit of funsies. You did say it on stream. I knew you said it on stream. I was like, yo, he fucking picked the winning horse on stream. Imagine not going with your gut. <laughs> Lel. All right, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Go have fun with the missus. Overhit it again. Not by much, though. Oh, I actually needed to overhit it because I didn't aim it properly. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -ba. Ciao, bello, ciao. I mean, my consistency is 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 unreal for today. Gray fast, gray fast, gray fast, gray fast, gray fast, gray fast. <clears throat> I'm gonna try calibration uh, just before we go into the to the plat round. I'm gonna try calibration just before we go into the plat round. See, I feel like that shot is just way too easy. That splash from right there, I just feel like it's way too easy. It shouldn't be that easy. One of the toughest things in golf is to have is to have soft hands around the greens, man. Short game. One of the toughest things in golf is to have a short game. It just shouldn't be that easy. going to jet out to the right. Oh, you son of a bitch. Go back left. Okay. Okay. Eagle putt coming up. Dirty eagle putt coming up. But we got an eagle putt coming up. Oh. A little too much bend. Left ourselves a nice birdie putt. Hey, we're under par, chat. Let's go. We've been fighting. We've been battling, dude. We've been battling. Absolute fucking battling out here. <clears throat> Try. 
drives have been pretty good for the most part. A couple of fast misses, but I'll take a gray fast on the drive all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Firm greens with the rollout. Look at this. Go in. Go in. Oh, let's go. Just a little eagle hole out to end the 18th hole there, baby. Woo. Oh, we're watching the replay. You know that. You already know we're watching the replay on that, right? Oh, what a beautiful fucking shot. Way to fucking just absolutely, absolutely de decimate 18 there. <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about anybody else being minus 15. Jives, go outside. Polak, Juanita, go outside. Okay. Just like, go outside. Jeff, I don't even know who you are. Go outside. Codeine, go outside. Get some air, bro. Get some air. Do something. <laughs> One of you four needs to go outside, like, now. Like, immediately. Minus 15 jives? Are you serious, dude? Fucking jives, dude. <laughs> well, that was all over the place. <laughs> Butter Popsicle. What did he hit? But Butter Popsicle didn't hit so bad. All right. I'm going to do a calibration. Then we're going to go into, uh... Into, um... Into the plat round for the day. That'll be it after that. Let's calibrate, though. It's calibration time. I'm going to calibrate now that I've changed the uh, the polling rates. I think I need to calibrate just to get it all back to uh, center. Of course, the first drive I hit is dead center down the middle. Really blue. Slow. Was I hitting more slow? No, I was hitting more great fast. Can't Can't allow that. That's what I was hitting. Hitting more of those. Ooh. 100 points. Hit the cart. That's like a, just a gray slow slightly. That I felt. I'm just slowing it. I think I'm going to do the calibration again, to be honest. Yeah, that's the one I want to get a little bit there. Because I think with the polling rate, it's reading more, so I swing slightly faster. You hold out on 18 to finish minus one in round one. There you go, baby. It's like me. I just hold out on 18. Chip in for birdie. That's a hole out. <laughs> That's a hole out. We, we we call that a hole out out here in these parts. I'm going to do it again. We call, out a, we call that a hole out out here in these parts. Yeah, that's the swing. That's, that's, that's the swing I gave the most. In the last round, so I want that. Fuck you. Beautiful. He's just fast. I'm pretty consistent right now. Like, that's a pretty consistent swing. That's what you want to do. As consistent as you can. Like, there's really no point to calibrate. Unless you're trying to, like, offset the calibration. To where you do all fast swings, all slow swings, or, like, a combination of the above. 
I'm trying to calibrate to swing how I swing so that it moves the slider just a little bit. Again, I, I've reached out to HB to find out exactly how this mechanic works. I've, I've yet to get an answer. I'm hoping to, that I get an answer. But I haven't been able to find anywhere, any li literature or anything on how calibration actually works or what it does. I'm in the impression that it slides things over on a very minimal scale. If you're always hitting fast, you'll go all the way to the left of that scale. If you hit somewhere in between, like you're a little bit fast, perfect, very fast, you'll, you'll be somewhere in the middle of that scale. If your tempo's pretty close to perfect, you'll be somewhere in the middle. And then the same thing on the slow side. I'm pretty sure with all my, with all of my testing, that's how it was. Just fast right off the rip. The drive isn't a problem. The problem is more the irons. Okay, now we're slowing. So that's that's fine. Because I, I felt like I swung pretty fast there. Oh, shit. This calibrated pretty quick. I don't know if I want that. Maybe. Let's try. Let's try this. Let's just try playing at this. This might be all over the place, guys. I warn you right now. So, not that it wasn't all over the place already, but we'll see. We'll see what this feels like. All right, let's go. Platinum rounds, chat. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me, man. I'm and I and I really, really, I really, really appreciate that you like the content, guys. I really do. It's a cool feeling to never have done YouTube before, and um. And for you guys to actually enjoy the content and do the way I do the content. I know my, my content is different. I don't chop up videos. I don't do editing. I don't do any of that stuff. I sit down at my desk. Even the intro video, everything is done through OBS and my live controller. I never cut anything in my videos. Nothing is cut. My end screen is all through my controller. I bring up the scene when I'm done talking. So that's kind of like the way I like to do it is just give you guys like a fresh perspective. That even when you're, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I like, I hate more than somebody doing a tutorial video, chopping in all the times he hit a perfect, even though it took him like seven hours to hit a perfect. He chopped in the three minutes of video it gave him to hit a perfect and didn't show you guys that it exists to not hit a perfect still, you know, or something, whatever, whatever have you. So that's just my, that's just my, my way of doing things. And, and I'm happy, I'm happy you guys are, 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 are enjoying the content. I'm very happy you guys are enjoying the content. What does this green look like? Oh boy. Closer the better. Okay. It's actually not bad. I might hit more perfects now. It's not bad. That calibration might work very well for us. Just a just a smidge faster. Like just a smidge faster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this like here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna hit more perfects now. I think that calibration is gonna do wonders. This is gonna be right on the pin too. <laughs> Stop. Oh baby, I didn't look at the uh, settings before the uh, round. I apologize. I apologize. I didn't look at the settings before the round. I'm gonna back out here. We'll look at the settings. That's on me. That is on me, folks. <clears throat> All right, so Carnoustie Cove, par 72, is a 7,161-yard course. We're playing this with medium wind, firm, firm, and very fast greens. Let's go back into the game. My apologies, my apologies, my apologies. I've played Carnoustie before. I was worried about it, man. I had it in my head the whole time. I was like, don't slow the ball, Blue. Don't slow the ball, Blue. How far are we here? Four.
Quite slow. Yeah, the the calibration's definitely fixed. Calibration's definitely fixed. So, let's go. All right, we save par there. We save par. We save par even though we go in the water. So, we'll take that. Let's move on. I got I can swing faster. Okay. Actually, this calibration is going to work really really well. This calibration is going to work really really well. This is a plat course? I think uh, this is going to be a shootout. This is going to be a shootout in plat this week. Absolute shootout in plat this week. What happens if I miss? Like 90 yards from the sand? No problem. Get out of there. Ooh. Somebody's on the fairway. God damn these pitches, dude. <clears throat> All right, chip it in. Nope, it's loaded. This is a. Uh, this is not. This is not a platinum course. I don't know. I hope they turn up the settings for uh, round three, four, five. But this is not a platinum course by any means or stretch of the imagination. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit a slight draw into this hole. Fuck. Man, I gotta practice swing, dude. See if we can put this in. Go in. A lot further than I thought it was. A bit problematic. Stick. Oh, bogey. All right, come on. A couple of missed tempos there at the beginning, to be expected. But this is not a hard course. Should be, should be, should be playing very, 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 very high scoring golf here. Um, shit. We do that. What's this? Two twenty three into there. What's this? Just curious what this green looks like. So you know what, dudes? You know what, duders? No word of a lie. I think I'm going over there. I just want to test it out. I'm gonna test it out for you guys. I'm gonna take the hit. See what happens. Because I think. I think. Oh, it's just a little bit long. I didn't get it far enough. If you get that far enough, you could just hybrid this right into this hole. Bingo, bango, bongo, right? I think I need to do a partial here. That's 222. That's on me. I try. I tried something just to see if it worked for you guys, and 
I'm uh, I'm gonna pay dearly for it. I'm gonna pay very very dearly for it. Pitch, dude. Pitch, 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 pitch. Okay, so so this is the same thing that happened the last time I tried to calibrate fast. Is that the short game goes to shit because I'm not I'm not swinging the stick anywhere near fast enough on the short game. I'm 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 too timid on the stick. So I gotta I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. It's the reason why I went back to a regular, a non-fast calibration last time. I'm pretty fast. Like, this is calibrated very fast. I think I might have to do it again. Uh, this is going to be 21, so I hit, I hit this. Is what it is. Rolls off. I feel like that's not even fast enough. Oof. Almost okay. <clears throat> Just gotta fix like really gotta swing fast on those chips really gotta swing fast on those chips now with this with this different uh calibration come on win give it a push here firm green come on. Oh, i hit the i hit the front i hit the front and completely killed any kind of bounce or roll out Fuck me, dude. understand like the line between the gray and the and the white there is just so finite i should be i should be so much lower here but that's okay still working on some of this new calibration stuff and everything so we got to accept beautiful drive though Beautiful drive. Let's get a score here. Let's let's start uh, start the mountain to come back. Go in, maybe. Go in, maybe. Go in, go in. Stop, stop. Oh my God, stop. Man, that rolled for days. That rolled for days, duders. What are we into? About two hours? Not bad. Two hour live stream on Saturdays. I think that's pretty regular. <clears throat> wow. I slowed that really. Interesting. That comes out slow. come out you think comes out 
Oh, I used the three wood hoping to get the roll. That's important. The hybrid wouldn't have gotten the roll. The three wood, eh, just barely. That's perfect, man. Par five here. Par five here. Slight slow. Tap in birdie. Let's move. Let's move. Let's start making a start making a bit of a name for ourselves here. On this back nine. Start making a bit of a name for ourselves on this back nine here. Nothing wrong with that. Only thing that might be wrong with it is the angle, but I think this slopes right a little bit, so we should be okay. Hmm. I hit this full loft. Maybe not. Let's see what the wind does with the loft. This could be good. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I need you to stop. Wow, you can't stop it. You can't stop that ball on the screen. That's insane, dude. That's full, almost fully lofted with some backspin, and I hit just the start at edge of the green. Wow, that's a hell of a, it's a hell of a putt. That's a hell of a shot. You're gonna have to like shape it in, I think. Now that I relive it. I think that's a hit. This is why I'm patient. I didn't do my distance. I didn't do my distance. My putting, my putting. I, I'm gonna have to put a little bit of work on. It. I'm gonna have to start using the visual a lot more, because there's just no vibration anymore. Put that extra carry on it. Paid off. Paid off. JK LOL didn't pay off. <laughs> JK LOL didn't pay off. We're in the rough. I'm not I'm just not getting the power. I mean I'm just not getting the tempo on the on the chips. And that's that was the problem that last time I happened that I just calibrated a little bit on the faster side. I didn't get the um Nice pot. Let's go. I didn't get the um I didn't get the tempo on the on the short game, but I think I could work on it from here. This isn't as bad as last time, and the, and the sticks feel more responsive. So, I'm gonna try doing it again, chat. Look at that, one hundred two, perfect with the backspin. And I didn't waste it in my practice swing this time. Let's go. <clears throat> All It's always just a little bit slow. But I'll take that. That's that's not so bad. Another bird. Back to back to back. Oh, back to back. But like I said, we're making a run on the back nine, and we're making a run on the back nine. And I don't want to hear anything else about it. Damn it. I had the slow in my head because of the water. Again, dude. So stupid. Just so stupid. Huh. 
<sighs> no rollout on that out of the rough? None? You don't want to roll out? You don't want to roll out? I overhit it. I'm going to miss high side. Yeah. God damn it, dude. So, so, so poor. That's just, that's just concentration. That's just concentration, double bogey for absolutely no reason on a par five to boot. Sad stuff right there. All right, we take one back right away. Take one back right away. Just just right away. It's nice and easy. Just nice and easy. Ooh, do we go for it? Of course we go for it. We're just savages. Just savages. Took a chance there, cucked it in red. Man, if it wasn't for this double, we'd be looking real pretty on the back nine. One blip in the concentration, and away we go, huh? <laughs> and there's that slow in the water again. I wasn't, I wasn't slowing it this time. I wasn't slowing it this time into the water. That was guaranteed. teed. I guarantee tease it. It's gonna be 160. Where's 160 land me? Right about there. And then I'm collapsed with the wind, so basically I can't get it there. Nice. Hopefully we get the high end of this, and uh, somehow we get there. Oh, we would have got there easy. The wind didn't do anything. The wind didn't do anything. Probably not the best. Probably not the best that could have been there. But we'll take a par. We'll take a par. Hey, 18 on the plat. Let's go. Big 1-8 on plat. We're at minus 4. Solid drive here. Puts us into birdie spot. Oh, I think we hit it too. Unless this throws me off. No, this, this, this throws me off. This might throw me off. Stop. Ooh. We got fairway. We got fairway. Normal lob. We're going to put a little bit of the spin skis, a little bit of that. We've got our tempo. This should be right on the pin. Stop. Stop. I need you to stop. Man, that bounce was big. At least we got that backspin on it with the perfect tempo. A little birdie to end it. Let's go. A little birdie to end it. Solid back nine, so save for that double bogey, which was just stupid of me. For the, It should have been a single bogey. Minus five on the plat. Guys, I think it's been a great night of golf. Um, we learned some stuff. We tried this new overclocking of the controller. I really like how it feels under the thumb. It just feels like I'm controlling everything so much better. I'm going to tinker probably a little bit more with the calibration. But this calibration might be good. I just might need to get used to it. It's a little bit faster, so the, the short game needs to be worked on a little bit. Other than that, man. Yo, guys, I, I thank you so much for sitting in the chat all along, chatting, having good conversations. I love it. Always be present. Always ask questions. I, I enjoy a good discourse. I enjoy a good debate. Of what's good, what's bad, what's coming out, all the games. Um, and um, I'm going to see you guys. Who is the best Xbox player on the TGC Tours? Killbride. 
not kill bride kill a bees they are on the purple platform but kill a bees kill a bees uh let me get you a drink kill a bees on uh he's he's on the he's in plat he's in plat on xbox he's the best and he holds it i played in his tournament if you guys remember the tournament uh the tournament match I had that went to twenty, uh, that went to twenty uh, holes. Uh, what the hell's his name? Kill, kill, a bee? kill, a, kill, a, kill a bees. Here we go. I will link it to you. Right, oops, I will link you his his uh, purple platform right now. There you go. There you go. So he's one that was playing the red fast and is learning to adjust to the the life of perfect on Xbox. So if you want to see somebody who's going through the same struggles as you, Superstroke, uh, that's your that's your guy. He he plays on plat. He's a plat player playing on Xbox. He's the best Xbox player uh, there is. Breach, I, I appreciate it, man. All right, guys. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I appreciate you guys showing up. We'll see you again next time. Until then, I'll see you in Killabees' chat. I'll see you in Killbrise's chat, Hemo's chat. Hey, tomorrow, the VIRL showdown brought to you by Lazarus Esports, brought to you by Bear Mountain. Yours truly created a hole for that, um, for that event. I'll show you the hole. Yours truly created a hole for that event. And they're going to do a closest to the whole competition at 1 p.m. Pacific, which is 4 p.m. my time. Um, there's going to be a four man uh, for like two thousand dollars. The one closest to the hole for a thousand dollars. There's there's prizes you can win in chat. Um, nope, got to go to publish courses now. It's been published. If you guys want to try it, it's right here. It's called the V I hashtag V I R L Showdown Bear M T N Golf. I'll show it to you here. There it is here. So this is what this is what the course is. And they're going to be doing a closest to the hole competition from this course. From this hole. Um, tomorrow on pin set four. Let's take a look. So here's the hole I created for bear mount for 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 the uh, for the project. Here's the Lazarus symbol. Here's the bear mountain symbol. Um, and this is, they're going to be doing a closest to the pin competition for a thousand dollars on this pin. I'm going to be left and long because it's great fast. Oh, boy. Bunker at the back. Let's try it again. Let's load it. Hell of a hole to try and hit, man. Like a hell of a hole to try and hit. It's way long. So they're going to be doing the closest to the hole competition on this on this hole. Tomorrow. This might do it. Oof. Oof. Just got to get it on the green, right?
Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, stay up. Oh, it's gonna go down. Oh, fuck. Oh. It's a hell of a... Hell of a hole to hit, man. I'm excited to see who does this tomorrow. I'm sure somebody's going to do a hole-in-one. I'm sure somebody's going to put it on a hole-in-one. Oh, this might be so good. Yeah, this is perfect. Go in. We're on. Hell of a hole to hit. What a hole to hit, man. It was awesome to create. Anyway, all right, guys. I will see y'all tomorrow in the chat for VIRL Showdown. Follow Lazarus on Purple Platform, on the Blue Platform, on YouTube. I'll be in all the chats. I'm going to be mixing up with you guys. We're going to be having some fun. Until then, I'm out.